Don't use Namde Kano as bargaining tools for election. I bought once Nigerian presidential candidate. Hello, great viewers. Welcome to my channel. IPOP gave the warning on Wednesday in a statement by its media and publicity secretary Mapafu while reacting to the promise made by the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PTP, Atiku Bubaka, to grant the unconditional release of Khan if elected. The indigenous people of Biafra IPOP has won the presidential candidate for the February 25 presidential election the disease from using the name of his then leader, Namde Kano, to campaign. IPOB gave the warning on Wednesday in a statement by his media and publicity secretary, Mapoafo, while reacting to the promise made by the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Atika Bubaka, to grant the unconditional release of Kano if elected. The Director General of the PDP Presidential Campaign Council, Prof. Obiora, Konko had on Tuesday said that Tiko has plans to restore peace in the southeast and releasing the IPOB leader was one of them. Nande Kano, international spokesperson and American counsel Bruce Fenn, had on Monday called on Atiko, Bola Tinibu and Pito B to promise to free the self-determination leader from the custody of the Department of State Service, DSS, if any of them become the next country's leader. Bruce Lee, 48 hours of Concord declared that Atiku had a plan to release Kano. Immediately, he was sworn in the president as the president on May 29, 2023. Reacting to Concord's statement, Taipob said BDB should demand that the federal government release their leader and not use it in the campaign. IPOB leadership wished to state that his leader should on no account be used as a political bargaining chip for Nigerian election, the statement said. He said Mazen Namde Kano has been judicially declared an innocent man and that follows that he must be released from his continual illegal detention and the torture by this president government of APC. We do not expect anything contrary, but that the judgment of the Court of Appeal is implemented. Moreover, the leadership of IPO wants to inform the PDP that in as much as we have no issue with their statement, their focus should be to demand that the Nigerian government to obey judgment of their own court. Our demand has and will remain consistent irrespective of which person or party is occupying Asorok, the Nigerian sent seat of power. Our self-determination agitation is our inalienable right and that is the reason we have demanded the referendum, which is the democratic process to enable Biafrans to determine their fate and decide where they wish to belong, whether in Nigeria or in a free and sovereign Biafran nation. Now that I've come to the end of this news, my analysis. Well, I've said this before, and I will continue to say it. Namde Khan is a peaceful man. And that is why Nigerian government think that they know too much. And we are meant to follow it in peaceful way. Because that is how he wants it. No matter what you say today, you understand that Nigerian government, like I said, we always said, is a criminal government. Nigerian government is a terrorist government that has never obeyed any court order, never obeyed any court order at all in their history, especially when it comes to the problem of Mazen Namdekano and the IPBs. 
and be a friends. They did it in 2017. From 2015 to 2017. And they have started it again. This is because this is a kangaroo country that nobody should even obey any rule of law because the presidency does not obey it. If people who made the constitution cannot protect the constitution and obey the rules of law, the court orders, then why should the civilians obey it? That's what I'm talking about. This is very lucky that they are still holding Mazenam the Kano in DSS custody. I know what is their mind, their plans, what they were planning to do. If maybe we'll try to do something rash. And this is why sometimes when I look at everything, I get tired. Time shall come when all those who plan the kidnap of Nam the Kano in Kenya will be dealt with. Uh, I know be like some people with the Yano Pata. You can only continue to do whatever you want to do. Continue to say whatever I want to say. But I will continue in the right path until the end of time. It's of me to follow the wrong path of those who plan secretly and kidnap on the Kano. And today they are doing as if they are the good people. <laughs> I better start doing all that new. This is just the truth. I have about different channels. I wanted to dedicate this particular channel as Biafra News, but with what I'm seeing, I don't think I can do that anymore. But I will not stop in advocating for Nam the Kano's release. Kafras and Kosai, when it comes to this struggle, he's doing it in a love. That's the fact. He's doing it in a love and Biafra. As a land. That's the truth. So I will continue to advocate for his release in a way I can. Since I cannot put any action, I don't have billions and billions of naira. I may not be poor, but I don't have billions and billions or millions and millions. To go after this fake government who actually contributed in what is happening today. Especially that day of Omahi and Hope of the Month. And this is why I will no longer disturb myself. I can only read my news when it comes to Nam the Kano's case. I will always condemn it, I will always trash it out. I will always do what I can to bombard this useless government, including the useless British government and the so-called useless United Nations who cannot do anything. They continue to look at woman Nyash, one useless Flani woman Nyash, because she is the one heading the affairs of United Nations. I'm sick and tired. If someone like Mazenam the Kano can be detained after the court has freed him, that means United Nations is rubbish. Amnesty International is rubbish. The same EU is rubbish. I'm telling you the truth. This is how I do my test. Like I said, I would prefer to attach my news, different news in my channel from now on don't allow people to run me down because I don't want to associate myself with criminals who plan to kidnap me and the Kano and today they are deceiving the people by telling the people that they are the good ones and doing everything possible to destroy what this gentleman has created. I think I've come to the end of this news. J. Piafra.